Hello everyone and welcome to Tuckstar Gaming Season 3 where we are going through the Game & Watch season from 1980 to 1991. So, the game we're going to play today is called Parachutes. Um, now you may have heard this, this one, I did try and choose the most popular ones. Uh, but if you haven't, let's uh, let's just go through a little description of this for you. So, Parachute. On June 19th, 1981, Parachute was released in the widescreen series. It's the first game in the widescreen series and is a single player game played on a single screen. The player pilots a boat and must keep parachutists from landing in shark infested seas. Woo. Every time the player fails to accomplish so, a life is lost, as per usual. Parachute was remade in Game & Watch Gallery 2 for the Game Boy Color, Game & Watch Gallery 4 for the Game Boy Advance, and the Game & Watch Collection 2 for the Nintendo DS. Which was a club Nintendo exclusive. I still remember that. Uh, Mr. Game on Watch's neutral air in Super Smash Bros. Melee shows him opening a parachute in reference to the game. Parachute. Yay. So, uh, there you go. Nice little introduction for you. So, without further ado, let's crack on. There we go. I've got the screen ready there. Get the headphones on. Let's get ready to rumble. Don't know where that came from. Honestly, I uh, I sometimes even wonder myself if my brain works. Right, so we've just got left and right. So nice, uh, nice and easy controls. Let's just see if we can play parachutes. Now this will be on game A. Don't have access to game B, unfortunately. Uh, but let's see what we can do. I'm quite scared now. Look all those, look all those little, I love that. I love that when you first put the batteries into the game and it shows you all the moves and everything that's going to be in the game. So hopefully, hopefully we can save a few people. So let's go. Okay, nice and easy. Oh, I like, oh, I like it when it's easy. We all know it's not going to, <laughs> it's not going to be this easy all the time. Oh, there's a shark. It's funny, this is almost a little bit like Lifeboat. Uh, we have to save people, but this is on a single screen, and Lifeboat is in a double screen that opens opens like a book. Oh, yeah, we don't want anybody falling in the sea. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I missed one. It is, honestly, it's all about fastest finger first. And it's just knowing which one's going to fall first. I wouldn't mind, but this is probably like only the first level. Gosh. Now, I would like to say that I've had a little practice of this beforehand, but I was like, no, I haven't. Oh. How many times do you need to practice, right? Oh, just. Right, rolls up sleeves. So, if, if you've played this before, please let me know how well you did in the comments below. Because some of these games are actually harder than they look. Like, you're probably going to be using your brain, you're going to be using your eyes, your fingers have got to be working right. We have another go at that. Let's see if we can beat 47. There we go. Right. 47. We've got to beat 47. I think we can do this. See, these were purely, uh, like, great games, but proper boredom busters. They weren't meant to be anything absolutely special but they were great as they say idle thumbs are the devil's playground it's just knowing which one's gonna fall first ah! no 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 come on 
Boss might was easier than this. See, the great thing about these games as well, they were literally, they weren't meant to be played for like hours on end. They were purely just... They were purely just... You know, it, it, it just gets rid of boredness in like five minutes. 30. I, I did worse than last time. Here goes. You have however long it takes. <laughs> Gosh, and this was like the days before Game Boy. I mean... And they were so like, carry them in your pockets and... They come anywhere and... Share you with your friends. Think how much some of these cost nowadays. Gosh, that was pure luck. Right, so the ones nearest fall fastest. Ah! Uh -huh. And then you have to remember to press left or right twice. Hope you're liking and subscribing. I can hear it. Gosh, that was good going. Ah, oh, didn't press left twice. Ah, oh, but I beat my score. I got 50. Just saying. <laughs> Ooh, this is definitely one of those that is all about just beating your high score. You're never going to get a record amount of score on here. Yeah. I'll right, give another go. And this, this, this time it's all about the. If you haven't liked, I'm giving you another another chance here. I just love the fact it's so basic. It's such a basic concept. But it's so hard. So you're going to fall from there. One's in the middle there. Right. So you'd think it's easy if you could just sort out when you know they're going to land. Where you know they're going to land. So you're going to land there. Okay. Right, you're gonna fall first, then that one, then that one. Ooh! Check me out. God, could you imagine what game B's like? Yes, yes, look at that. Beat my, beat my score already. See, it is. It's definitely all about practice. Yes, come on. Oh, oopsie. Okay. I mean, to, to reach 100 would be quite nice. Oh, but I didn't quite. 77, though. Not bad. It's, good, good. it's a good little score. Both numbers are exactly the same. I'm making some really poor excuses uh, on me playing this game. But, um, yeah. No, it definitely comes with practice. But what a great little game. So if you do remember playing this, I would love for you to, to, to let me know and you know how well you did and... If you had this particular 
widescreen uh, widescreen version of Parachute. It'd be great to hear from you. Uh, and also, a nice little quick like, subscribe. Yeah, You can even, if you really want to, you can tinkle the little bell notification um, to, let, to let you know when my new videos come out. Uh, now, granted, with Game & Watch, you can't really have a long video. Um, because it's just the same game over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to play, play one more time. One more time. That's, there we go. Let's see if we can beat 77. But yeah, this, this is what I think I like about these. They are just five minute wonders. But you really didn't have a choice of handhelds back then. So it was a case of this, this was it. This is what you played. Until Game Boys came out. Now, granted, there we there were other there, there were other handheld games available on the market. Uh, I think it's Nam Namco. Used to have, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research into those. Oh, you absolutely crispy cream. Yes, here we go. Only, f only 50 more points to go. Man, you should, you should, you should be playing uh, Tuckstar Bingo. Every time I put on my, um, my concentration face, you score like five points. Because that's exactly what... Oh, I chose the wrong one. Alright, one more, one more shot to go. But these games are definitely all about you need good hands and eye coordination because some of them, like Cement Factory, where you're playing on two screens and you're like, hang on a second. <laughs> oh, no. No, that was... That, no. No. Oh, well. Well, ladies and gents, I really do hope that you enjoyed a little bit of Parachute there. Uh, to introduce, reintroduce you to the game, or if you hadn't seen it before, well done, there it is, and um, how amazing it is. And man, I'm not going to lie to you, I cannot wait until we start getting to a few more of these. So uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next episode, and remember guys, keep gaming.